<laughs> well, that last video ended abruptly because my computer did some really weird glitch, but it didn't end up in a bad place. So again, our goal is to look at this function really carefully at all these different places so that we can make sure that this is the maximum range. Now, I didn't show this on video, but I just took 25 and 25 and plugged it into the original uh, function that we were given for range. I believe, uh, let's see, it's right there. So the original function, I plugged in 25, 25, and I got the number 36550. And you can do that yourself, check, stick it in the function, and check it. Now, what we're going to do is do these other ones here as well. Uh, basically, this is just finding the limit of a function where one of these is fixed. So this is a, all functions of one variable, not two, because again, I fixed the other guy. Now, I'm going to start with these two because that's I, I started this video before and I had a typo. So I'm going to start with these because I have it typed in correctly. So I'm typing in my range function with h equaling 100 and then t being a variable, and then I'm going to look at the limits. So here I have it in my calculator. You can see that I have my variables for t, and then I have the constants for the h variable in there. Now I want to look at the table. Let's delete this all out of here as x goes to infinity. So I got 10, 100, oh, and there it drops down into the negative values. And since it's going down negative, it's not going to come back up because I only have one critical point. So this guy goes off to negative infinity. So let's do it going towards negative infinity. So let's delete all these out. And let's go to negative infinity. So negative 10, negative 100, negative 10,000. Oh, there we're negative again. Negative 100,000. There we go. So this guy also goes off to negative infinity. So now I'm going to, I forget my negative there. So now I'm going to let h be 0 and then take a look at those two limits. So I go over to my y equals and I get rid of all the extra constants at the end where h is 100. So now I'm going to make it 0. So that's going to go to 0. That'll be 0. Now, obviously, if you were doing this in your calculator, you could just leave those terms out, but I'm going to leave them in there, mostly just to make a point. So if I go back here, I've already done stuff towards negative infinity, and you can see this goes down to negative infinity. So as t goes to negative infinity, that goes off to negative infinity. Now let's take a look at it as t goes to positive infinity. So get rid of all those guys. So 10. 100, 1,000, oh, there we go, back down to negative infinity. Okay, so after doing all these limits at all these endpoints, I'm just going to tell you which of these is bigger. Well, these all go down like I actually anticipated in the first video, and at the critical point, we get a nice value here. So I'd say the range is maximized. to 36,550 36, kilometers since we are degrees Celsius, just a guess, when the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius with 25% humidity. When you do these problems, always go back, look at the question, and answer the question in a sentence. It's a good habit to get into. Now, this was unusual, and this was challenging based on the fact that we have not a lot of restrictions on T. But nevertheless, we were able to do it because of our skills from Calc 1. I hope you found this helpful.